Hi, I'm Eric, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like what you see, subscribe for more golf videos every week. We're like a mix. There's the, the private courses and the, the kind of courses you know about, Kari Cliffs and Tariti down the road, and um, Titarangi, the McKenzie Design in Auckland, but then, yeah, the hidden gems, I think, in Mangawai and Waipu and Murawai on the other coast, and uh, there's just so much great golf to be had, and I think the, a, lot of the, a lot of the more golf tourists who are really passionate about the game enjoy exploring the little known courses as much as the, if not more than the, the ones you see in all the magazines. Yeah, the, the parallels between, I think, here in California, in terms of weather, climate, uh, that kind of organic, movement, the whole lifestyle. I think that Napa Valley Big Sur coastline, it's, uh, it's just spot on with that that kind of California scene, I think. So I think it's going to quickly turn into a bit of a golfing mecca. Getting ready to play a little golf today. Maybe Wrighton can make a new song. How do you say playing golf this weekend in Maori? <laughs> and play golf with our fearless host, Doug. Play a couple holes at Mungify. Well, have you tried this kombucha? Sure, I'll try it. It's like the world's best kombucha. One for the little road. All right. This is the the whip du jour. Defender Nero. So where are we gonna go play? Mungify. Mangafai Golf Club. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. What makes it a good course, Doug? The people. Yeah. It's just a magical spot. The sand-based fairways. It's never very busy, except for maybe today. I think words don't do it justice. I'll say no more. I'm pumped. So what are we gonna do? We'll play like the hardest part three in New Zealand. Hardest part four. And then we'll the hardest part four in New Zealand, and yeah. then we'll play an ace camp. <laughs> I'm loving the grass here. This is reminding me of Los Angeles. This is uh, Kikuya. What do you call it? Yeah, Riviera's grass. The same grass as Riviera. I think of it as the same grass as Wilson and Harding, which are the municipal public courses that I learned to play golf on. But if you see here, it's it's just sort of a smorgasbord of grass that's kind of tufty and thick, and it kind of thatches together. A lot of people don't like it. But for me, it feels like home. It's kind of spongy. So we're not gonna start on the first hole because we're just kind of casual like that, right, Doug? We don't care. We just wanna get playing. And it's kind of what's cool sometimes about an 18 hole course is you can just jump on, play six, play nine, play whatever. We're really gonna mix it up 16 second and then we got a 13. And so the second is the hardest par four in New Zealand. Yeah. And the 13th is a downhill par three ace camp. Ace camp. You just said you gave golf a break for eight years? Yeah. And it's your first year getting back first, into it? Yeah. Why? Oh, didn't, didn't have time. Yeah. And, uh, and living in a city, you know, transport, time. Um, and I actually missed all the mates I used to play with. Didn't really have anyone to play with in a new town. Yeah. It just wasn't a priority. And then moving back up here, it's like Tariti, Mangawai just reconnecting with mates and uh, you just got the bug back. Golf is in your life, it's in your past, and then you kind of drop it for a while for whatever reason, kids, job, moving. You see an Eric Lang video and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so long. Go see it. <laughs> Middle of the fairway here, my man, host advantage. Guest over here on the left, drew it a little too much, but can make it happen. Look at this, looking like NorCal right here, man. So many courses down here in New Zealand, I would just love to call my home course. I mean, look at this place. Look at that fairway bunker. That's a bunker in the fairway. Look at that. That's sick. Chip it in for par. Mungify, no joke. It's uh, one of the hardest courses in New Zealand. So far, proving to be true. Let's see what we can do. There's good speed there. Thanks. 
Where are we walking to right now? Sick in the hole at Mangawai, Mangafai. It's uh, known as one of the toughest, if not the toughest, path four in New Zealand off this back tee. And yeah, it's a cracking dog lead to the right, sand down the right, water down the left, and uh, yeah, plenty of adventures to be had. I'm into adventure. Let's see it done. Cam is live. Stuart, introduce us. 13th hole, tell us about it. 13th hole at Mungafai. It is a beautiful, it really is a stunning downhill. Um, par three. It looks like a bit of a redan almost. The way the green's sloping from front to back and left to right. I have a question. What is Men's Monday? That's a secret, secret artificial turf tee. I think we can break the Monday rule and uh, go have a look. To men's Epic Monday, <laughs> shall we? All right, we've developed some rules for Ace Camp, kind of like Fight Club. Number one, you shall always invite people to join. Number two, every par three shall be recorded. Number three, every par three shall be recorded. Number four, hit until you're happy. And number five, if you're the last person to have an ace, you're the captain now. Oh, oh, come God. on. Oh, could good. that be it? Be so good. Oh. Come back, oh. come on. Oh. oh, man. I am singing so bad right now, guys. I'm swinging the worst I've swung in months. Oh, my God. Oh, hold on the finish. Shot. Nice shot. Nice. Good work. Good work. Send away. Oh. Oh. oh! That was like an inch off. It was such a thin to win. <laughs> My heart skipped a beat there. <laughs> that was close. That was the closest you've ever come, I think. Well, well camp. I would agree. It, it was the cl and yeah, it didn't like do some weird dance around the hole. It just went by the hole. Welcome to Ace Cam, locals. We're on your course now. How many hole in ones you guys have? None. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Wow. Yeah. Are you Sir Bob Charles? No, more than that. Cal's got 13, I got six, 19. Wow. What? Can't tell if we're being serious. That's a lot of hole in ones. I have most you guys, Did you guys just get one? No, but we're, we're waiting to see here if you do. Okay. <laughs> hey, do you really have one of you guys 13? No, I have 12. I'm sorry, can you say that again? <laughs> I have 12 holes in one. <laughs> did you just say only 12? I, no, I didn't say there? only. <laughs> I said <laughs> I have. <laughs> Where'd you? Oh my God. I'm speechless. Um, what's your secret? I'm oh, sorry, what's your name first of all? Carol. Carol, Carol I'm Eric. Eric, nice to meet you. Hi, Eric, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, Canada. And uh, so what's the secret to um, uh, unlocking 12 hole-in-ones in your lifetime? A whole lot of luck. <laughs> but do you do any manifestation practice or belief therapy? No. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Stand up, hit the ball straight. Straight in the hole. <laughs> do you think that you could get a hole-in-one right now on camera if you tried? No. <laughs> <laughs> So, Terry Eady is just right up there. We were thinking of swimming there, but yeah. I don't know if we'd get in, got clothed like golf attire. Apparently none of the members use the beach. <laughs> Shocker number zero. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nothing like some warm sand on your feet after swimming in clear, crystal in the ball bag. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean always shows up. Yeah. It really does. The biggest ocean we learned yesterday. Tee off in 45 well, minutes. Jumping in the world's biggest bathtub. Did you ever go in the ocean in Scotland as a kid? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh no, that's a lie. We used to go in St Andrews. Yeah, like to old Tom. We used to go in the water and it was freezing. When you were a kid in Scotland, did people talk about old Tom or was he just not really a figure? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, when you're, obviously when you're in St Andrews, we used to go there in the summertime, it was like, 
you can't get away from it because you know what it's like. Every second shot, a golf shot. We're leaving <laughs> the clubs. Uh, we're leaving the lodge, Dougie's place. Heading to Terra Edie. I'll be honest, I don't know about you guys. I'm nervous. I am nervous. I the last time I was nervous was last April on Monday. 